Right, yeah, then, guys, we're here. We're going to break down some of Sean Strickland's wildest moments, and there's fucking tons of them. There's plenty of them. <laughs> so uh, we'll get straight into it and see what the mad bastard's got to say. Every white person I've ever met when I was a kid and I would, you know, draw a in my arm, they would be like, fuck you. Nah, man, I want to fucking, you know, try to kill a man and get paid. You were training with him, so does that make you his bitch? Oh, this fucking bitch, dude. <laughs> I, I've never smacked a woman, but you're about to come. Have you watched that whole interview? Yeah, he's a, I always, have you watched the whole thing? Yeah, it's class, it's isn't it? It's brilliant. Like, like, you know, she's like, um... A lot of people are hating on her, on her, innit? But she's found a she's found like a way in, haven't she? So this girl coming next, I don't know what she says yet. Helen Ye or something, or Ye or something. Her name is. She's married to the schmo. You know the, sh- oh, the schmo. Is she, yeah. yeah, so they're together. So like he does interviews with the pair of them and just takes the pants out of the pair of them. Fuck. He's probably about to say something a bit borderline by her. Standard. Ni hao. What was that? Wait, what am I saying? What am I saying? Hello. Ni hao. I feel, like, I feel like I should already start. How do you say work harder, child? Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> There's absolutely no limit with him, is there? He got zero fault there at all, have he? No. Zero. Like. How can you even... How does he get away with it? I'm surprised the UFC could even like put any, him in the main event and risk it. Any other sport in the world, I just feel like you would be like banned or, or like disciplined or they just like, just don't, they just be like, don't put, just don't put a camera in front of you. Just oh, don't let him speak to the camera. As nuts as he is, it is said in like, ah, oh, isn't it? He's not saying like, like she obviously knows him well yeah. and she's laughing like she can tell. She knows the crap, I mean, she knows he's, he's not trying to offend her, although to be fair, you could see why he, she, why she would get offended by it. He should be a comedian, shouldn't he? He should be a comedian for sure. So when I start my clothing, when I start my clothing company and I open up a couple sweatshops, how do I how do I get to the meat and potatoes of work harder? No food for you till you finish. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> like since when did suicide become fucking cool? If you cheat on me <laughs> and I don't find out, I mean, so if you're gonna cheat on me, just be good at it. <laughs> oh man, now if I kill someone in the ring, I'd fucking make me very happy. All right, next question. Like a lot of people have got an issue with that, haven't they? Because he's constantly saying like, he wants to kill someone. He just want. Are you him? I think he's even. Were you listening to him on Joe Rogan? Yeah, that was a bit. I that thought was that was like wild. when you see when you see him in a clip a bait scenario like this, you think like. Last 30 seconds, that's okay. But when you seen him on Rogan, he was like an hour saying oh, the same thing. God. It was getting a little bit much, I thought. He, um, he was saying on there, wasn't he, that he doesn't want to kill someone, like, because he wants to, like, because he's got it, but he wants to know where it feels like. I'm like, that's a bit fucking nuts. Like, that's a bit but is that bringing his mind? When his father or grandfather a neo-Nazi or something, yeah, and yeah. he's talking about when his father was dying, wasn't he, and he was like, he obviously hated his father, and he was talking about, like, I will not say it because we might get flagged, but, uh, you, you know, kind of helping him on his way, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And, like, it was a very, it was funny because of the, some of the stuff he was saying, but, like, he he's, was talking about Hitler within the first, like, five minutes of the video, wasn't he? Of, of, he's of got some time. deep stuff underlying there. Yeah. He? I worry about, <laughs> well, I don't worry, I think he, he'll be all right, but imagine when he retires and he's got nothing to focus all his energy on, what the fuck's he going to do then? Because I follow him on Instagram and uh, all he does in his spare time, if he's not training, is, like, go fishing or like rebuild motorbikes or rebuild like like um electrical fuse boards and that for it. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, so I think he knows he's gotta keep himself busy it's like fucking wild man. I mean it's okay if the person you're fat shaming is someone you love. I think fat shaming is always okay. <laughs> I there's nothing worse than being next to a fat smelly motherfucker. And the most human thing you could do is telling a fat, smelly motherfucker to put down the fork. Don't well, say fuck all to me, Jack, right? Uh, do you know what, though, right? <laughs> we, I was listening, there was a podcast, I can't remember which one it was about this the other day, and it is true, fat shaming does work, though. Oh, it does, yeah. Like, I know people say, oh, it's bullying, and you've you got to be comfortable in your own skin, but fat shaming works. You know, if, if someone says to me, oh, I'll put a bit of weight on him, you know? I think, right, back that's it, gym. get on a diet, back, back on the treadmill, it works. It does, it does work. work, mate. I've had it done to me in the past, and it does force a little bit of action. Like, yeah, like if, as long as you're not soft, you know, like proper soft, then you're not gonna have a breakdown from it. I think like it works for me. If someone says to me, "Oh, you've bloody put weight on," I'll, I'll get back on a diet. Like, I would never do it to a random on the street. No, I'd be no, like, "Oh, no. you want to put the fork down?" Imagine sitting on the plane next to him if you were overweight. Like, fuck it now. He'd let you know about it, wouldn't he? For sure. And over a boost would take you. So here's the thing, you guys. I'm gonna f- speak straight with you. I always do. 
I'm honest. I try to be. Some you know, unless I'm trying coming. to sleep with you. Oh, I don't like to put big black things <laughs> in my face like this. But, oh, I don't like to put big black things in my face like this, but we'll make it happen. I feel like you're used to it. <laughs> I think you're used to it. Anyways, <laughs> how do you think you got the John Jones in <laughs> How do you think she got the John Jones interview? <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> you could just watch these two though, couldn't you, for like an hour? Oh, he's like the only one that's got, because like, she rips everyone, doesn't she? And he's actually gone, not the answers, but because he's so fucking mad himself, <laughs> it, like, it becomes a double act. <laughs> like, it's not just her ripping him. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> fucking hell. Izzy, I'll come over to you. We can watch anime. You can put some fucking testosterone on my ass. I'll do it with you. Let's fucking go. Fight for a belt, you guys. Fucking Izzy, come on. Fucking Izzy with the titties. I got to fight you. If it wasn't UFC, I'd probably be cooking meth in a trailer in prison. So. <laughs> uh, remember when we were talking about... I like, no talking no filter. He's probably right, though. That's on the uh, that's on the mic after a fight. Like, that's, like, I get it to an extent. These interviews are... You know, they're in the gym, it's like, like they're independent, they're nothing to do, they are, you know, they're nothing to really do with the UFC. That's on the, that's like the post-fight interview. ESPN. In, in the cage on ESPN. If I wasn't in the cage, I'd be in jail or cooking meth somewhere. Do, do you reckon someone said to him this week, like, come on now, main event, title fight, no. rein it in? I, I think this is great for promotion. I think, number one, they're wasting their breath, so I don't think he would listen. No, and true. number two, remember when he got knocked out by Pereira? Um, although... He, he lost the fight. You know the press conference? Him and Izzy going back for it was brilliant to watch. Like, he stole the show. He was... What he calling Izzy with the titties? <laughs> Let's watch anime and inject testosterone in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking limits with him. Um, fighting is like having sex with a woman? Yes. Does that mean that Alex f***ed you? <laughs> oh, this f***ing <laughs> That... You... You f***ing... He's the number seven middleweight in Everybody the world. I'm not saying that the world would be better, a better place than more of me, but you guys need to get hit by your dads a little bit more. <laughs> not even hit, not like, not disciplined. What, what? You guys don't need to be like, I didn't take out the trash, hit. You guys need to get like an alcoholic rage beating, and then you'll start fucking <laughs> learning how to have, you know, nuts. If you're it's stomach- funny. The best part about that interview is after that, Brendan Chav goes, Brendan Chav goes, something like, he says something like, oh, well, I don't know about that, but you seem to know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, it's just like you're off your fucking head. He has no idea what to say. To come back to that, do you? I'd be awkward as fuck, I reckon. He, does, he, goes, he, just, he literally goes, oh, I don't know about, I don't know about that, but I don't know, you're doing all right. You seem to know what you're talking about. Looks like a and you're naked and a guy doesn't know which hole to put it in. You're too fucking fat. If you want to run your fucking mouth, not on the internet. <laughs> you should come up and What's your face? Too fucking fat. Oh man, I made the champion man with his <laughs> frosted tips and his gay little watch. <laughs> oh no! His frosted tips. Look at his look at his key keys just He's on a carabiner on his trousers. He's like. to his belt just in case. <laughs> I appreciate this. Without you guys, I would probably be a piece of somewhere. Now I'm a piece of with money. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs>